Uh, hi everybody, my name is Jason. I just wanted to uh, share with you what I think is uh, a pretty cool uh, device. Um, as you can probably tell, I need to do a lot of exercise and I have to get my bike set up in the basement to, um, uh, to do the exercise. Don't have to worry about rain or snow or hot temperatures or anything like that. But um, one of the other benefits that I want to uh, deliver when I'm doing my uh, cycling is uh, charging um, USB powered devices. I looked online, looked on eBay, looked at the stores. Uh, nobody seems to be selling a USB powered bicycle generator. Uh, so this is what I endeavored to uh, put together here. Um, if you take a look, uh, I found a, um, a U uh, uh, bicycle dynamo to run the lights uh, off of the bikes. But um, as you can see here, these are the types of lights that you'd end up uh, running off of that uh, off of that dynamo. Uh, when I went looking for it, uh, this is the only one I could find. I was able to get uh, a six volt generator uh, with a rim drive, and uh, instead of some of the other ones that I've seen online, um, this is easier. And I, I found this thing without a problem. I found the dynamo without a problem. But when I did my testing, I found that. As I, as I ran the dynamo, it ended up generating AC voltage, and that's, uh, that's not good. So, um, one of the things I found on, uh, on our website, on Instructables, was a, um, uh, a voltage uh, rectifier. And uh, in this assembly, and you see the schematics on the, uh, on the web page, uh, there's four diodes there at um, basically take the AC voltage coming in from the dynamo and it gets rectified so it's pure DC voltage. Now the um, the concern that was coming out of here was uh, even though the dynamo says 6 volts I'm actually able to uh, get up to a 13 and 14 volts AC so with the rectifier uh, that voltage stays roughly the same um, and the amperage coming from the um, uh, coming from the dynamo uh, comes out at about uh, uh, four or five hundred milliamps. So after the bridge, in order for me to regulate the uh, the voltage, because it's still coming out at 12 volts, I'm uh, recycling one of these um, uh, car lighter uh, USB um, devices, you know, to plug in your iPod or whatever while you're driving. And uh, inside the component, there's um, uh, it, it regulates from the input from 12 to 24 volts down to 5.5 uh, 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 DC, which is uh, the USB the USB standard, and uh, it indicates 700 uh, milliampere's uh, regulation, so as not to overpower your uh, your battery battery devices. Um, when we take a look at the um, at the readings we get. Let me get to my voltage, and if uh, my cameraman's gonna just keep an eye on that, you'll be able to see that I'm able, uh, at a regular pace, because of the regulator, uh, I'm able to get the desired 5.5 volts, and uh, I'm not overcharging, and if I crank it up even more, it doesn't move, so that's the good thing about the voltage regulator. Um, for the amperage, even though the uh, the device says um, even though the device says uh, 700 milliamps, the um, the output you'll be able to see ends up being a little bit higher, but not outside the range of acceptable, in my opinion. You can see that again at my regular pace for cycling, I'm getting. Just a tad more than the 700 milliamperes. If you have any recommendations as to what kind of a ampere regulator to keep it at the uh, USB standard, USB standard is 5.5 uh, volts DC and 500 milliamps. I'd uh, be interested in reading about it in the comments. So I'm able to. Uh, charge iPad devices, iPhone devices, cell phones, Xbox controllers, anything USB powered 
as I'm getting fit and uh, doing so while saving the planet. Thanks for watching. Please uh, provide your comments uh, and uh, look forward to reading them. Thanks again.